Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about uh, how to install Docker on uh, GCP virtual machine. Okay, we have seen uh, the previous videos of Docker, uh, Docker basic information like what is container, what is image, uh, Docker architecture. So those things we will discuss. So mainly Docker is an open source platform for developing, shipping, running the applications. So Docker enables uh, a separate application from infrastructure so can you can uh, deliver software quickly with the docker you can uh, manage the infrastructure same way as a managing application so docker can package application and dependencies in a virtual container that can run on any linux server so it can you can create a container container is nothing but a, it's a, a small virtual machine so you can put all your application and along with the dependencies so we we discussed about uh, image and uh, container so image is executable package that can includes everything to run an application like uh, application along with the libraries uh, dependencies variables code okay so configuration files those things Container is a runtime instance of image. So it's a small virtual machine. So when you run the container, it will create a separate VM. So you can uh, run the application on the virtual machine. So let's get into the demo. So we'll try to create a uh, virtual machine in GCP. So we can install the Docker. So install Docker on uh, Ubuntu. So let me create Ubuntu virtual machine. Create instance. So the instance name I'll say Docker VM. Some and region I'm going with the default region. And uh, here I'm changing the boot disk. Let me take it to Ubuntu. And size is 10 GB is enough so select allow all to access and hello HTTP allow HTTP traffic and uh, create a virtual machine so once VM is created uh, we don't need any prerequisite to install the docker so when you install the docker it will come client and server so on the same mission uh, you can run the docker client and the docker server commands so say shs So first time it will take time. So I'm switching to root user. So I have note down the steps. So you just need to run. So these are the steps which are uh, required to run. Okay. These are the commands. Okay. App should apt get. update so it should be updated uh, the dependencies on newly created vm so next step is like app to get install transfer http certificates okay so those things you just need to copy and uh, paste The next step is download a key.
okay then you just need to add a repository no uh, Now it should be added. Now if you see, I have to get update if and why. So these repository it should be updated uh, with the latest packages. The key and we have updated, right? Now if you install the Docker, so it will pick. Using repo, we are going to be install the Docker. So it is taking time to get in get it to install. Now it should be installed. We clear. Now if you press Docker, so you will get all the commands. Okay, all the information. If you check Docker version, so it should be installed. Uh, client and server. Client should be Docker community. We have different type. Of uh, Docker versions like Edge version, community version, and enterprise version. And Edge version, uh, so every month it should be the new release, they will be changed and they will release on uh, Docker. And the community version, they have uh, stable versions. So, and the enterprise version, if you go with the enterprise version, uh, they will provide the support. Uh, so now the if you check only the version docker hyphen version so it will give you the only version hyphen hyphen version so it will give you the only version information so here uh, 2010 uh, 7 means 20 is the year of so and the month should be like uh, the month of the year and this seven should be like um, bug version or minor version so if you go with the docker version it will give complete information uh, version and api version and go version git commit okay and uh, so you are able to install successfully and uh, docker is running so default uh, docker location should be uh, cat etc run cd etc find docker dot suck I think it should be the process location should be Docker. At run I'll ping you the location I'll check let me default docker location I forgot that uh, location name 
default docker location where lib docker yeah cd where lib so sorry I just cat I did the cat command so we need to do CD sudo SEO hyphen CD where lib docker So now in this location, you are able to see the containers, network, and uh, run times, all this information, images. So you can able to check Docker commands, Docker ps to see the running containers and uh, Docker images. Currently, we don't have any images. So if you need to integrate um, with the Docker, so you just need to give Docker login. So it will ask you the username and password. So you just need to provide your username and password of your uh, Docker Hub public uh, repository detail. So now you are able to get succeed login. So that's all about in this session. We just seen how to install Docker and Ubuntu uh, virtual GCP virtual machines. Uh, thanks. If you like the video, please share and subscribe.